all the outside aspects of our life, how to manage our home, how to manage our industry, how to manage our business, for all this we are trying to look at it in a scientific manner, yes? With appropriate technologies. What does scientific manner mean? We are just figuring out how does it work, yes or no? Hmm? Science does not mean inventions, science means you figuring it out, how does everything work? and now create an appropriate tool so that we can effortlessly conduct that process, isn't it? With minimum effort, we can conduct the outside. This is science and technology, which is the offspring. But when it comes to our life, the life that you are, when I say life, I want you to be very clear, I am not talking about your family, I am not talking about your work, I am not talking about your body, I am not talking about your thought, I am talking about the life, the life that is here. Because there is life in this, we want to keep the body in a certain way, we want to dress in a certain way, we want to do so many things. The moment this is not alive, we don't want to do any of these things, isn't it? Yes or no? The most precious thing about you right now is not the diamonds that you're wearing, you're alive. Tch. Hello? The most precious thing about you right now is not about how qualified you are, how brilliant you are, how rich you are, you're alive right now. This is the highest value and actually the only value, isn't it? Now, this life, when I say life, I'm talking about that life. We're not talking about the accessories of life. You gathered the body to facilitate life on this planet. You gathered this much of mind because you want to facilitate, you gather wealth because you want to facilitate this life, isn't it? So the life that you are, this body, this mechanism happened from inside, isn't it? You provided raw material from outside, but it happened from inside, you did not build it from outside. But if you read, if you listen to what I say, or if you read a scripture, or you read any other book, all this is done by human hand. And human beings are capable of enormous distortion of mind. Do you agree with me? If I ask all of you today to write a summary of what I have spoken in the last hour, there will be one hundred versions of what happened this evening. You will see in the next week the gossip in the town. <laughs> so human minds are al given to this, you know, distortions. But this, written by the creator himself, isn't it? The source of creation is writing this from inside. This cannot be wrong. Only thing is, there is no literacy about how to read this. Now if I give you probably an English book or a Hindi book, you will read because you know the alphabet. Now I will give you a Tamil book, can you read? Nothing. Why? Because you do not know the alphabet. So it's a question of literacy. Everything that's life is written into this, isn't it so? Yes or no? Everything that's life is written into this. You are not able to read it because no literacy. Nobody taught you how to turn inward and read this. Because right now, your entire perception is happening by seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting and touching, the five sense organs. In the very nature of things, they're all outward bound. You can't roll your eyeballs inward and scan yourself. Even this you can hear, but so much activity happening, you cannot hear. If an ant crawls up in this ha upon this hand, you can feel it. So much blood flowing, you cannot feel it. So in the very nature of things, your sense organs are outward bound, but your entire experience of life is happening within you, isn't it? So this is the fundamental problem. Now you don't have instruments to turn inward. If you are willing to spend thirty focused hours, okay? Thirty focused hours, we can give you a simple instrument with which you can turn inward. Because 
anything that is not survival process will not come to you without a little bit of striving. What is survival will just come to you, but anything beyond survival will only happen to you if you strive, otherwise it won't happen to you, isn't it? Thirty hours of striving, is it worth for you to read the user's manual of how to conduct this? You should not listen to me because you don't know what devious plans I have for you. <laughs> you don't know, isn't it? Hey, come on <laughs> But what this life speaks cannot be wrong. What this mind speaks, you already said you're a case, is obviously distorted. But what this life speaks cannot be wrong, isn't it? What this body speaks also cannot be wrong, isn't it? Your body has never lied to you, has it? Your mind has told variety of lies every day, but has your body ever lied to you? No. So you must learn to read it. The problem is only question of learning the alphabet. We can do that for you, thirty hours. <laughs>